Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in the Aberdeen S6 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Big Thano and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king, Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court, of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Ammon standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honour? No Ammon thought in his heart, to whom would the king delight to do honour more than myself, more than to myself? And Ammon answered the king, For the man whom the king delighteth to honour, let the royal apparel be brought which the king useth to wear, and the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of the one of the king's most noble princes, that they be array the man withal whom the king delighteth to honour, and bring him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighteth to honour. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste, and take the haparel and the oars, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai the Jew, that sitteth at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Then took Ammon the apparel and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai, and brought him on horseback through the streets of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honour. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate, but Haman hasted to his house mourning, and having his head covered. And Haman told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men, and Zeresh, his wife, to him, if Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shalt surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberlains, and hasted to bring Hammon unto the banquet that Esther had prepared. Alright guys, so here this chapter we see where... <laughs> Haman actually thought that the king was talking about him and so he told the king what he would want to be done to him and he did not know that it was this person that he disliked so much that the king wanted to honor. This story brings back to the forefront the fact that we should want for others what we want for ourselves right and love thy neighbor as thyself <laughs> because if Haman would think these things for himself would want these things for himself then he should want them for Mordecai also and he should want them for anybody else also so guys remember this whenever you are thinking of doing something Think about the effect it will have on the other person before you actually do it. When you think to speak something, remember words can be powerful, just as powerful if not more so than actions. 
And so, we should always think on what we will say to others and think of our actions and how they will affect others also, so that we may be our brother's keeper and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Alright guys, so I hope you continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.